Everything in this video is a slam dunk hit. Hey, hi, welcome back to my channel. We have had so many difficulties here today. My ring light, which you can see in the mirror behind me, it's reflection. Mike and I brought it to our wedding, which happened two weeks ago. And I think in the transportation, she died. Um, so, I'm sitting in front of a window today in my beauty room with no lights. I have no microphone because I don't have enough space to set the microphone up. It's kind of a hot mess, but I thought maybe this would be better. I don't know. That's just me telling myself this might be better, more intimate. Maybe you'll like this lighting better. Let me know down below in the comments. But today I'm going to be talking about all the beauty products that I packed with me on Mike and I's honeymoon. We went to Santorini. Um, we went to Greece. And we went to Santorini, Mykonos, and Paros. So we're gonna do a full face get ready with me using the products that I packed. I'm gonna talk you guys through every single thing that is in my travel, oh God, it's heavy, beauty bag. There's a lot in here that I packed, that I used and I loved. Most of the things I loved, but there's also a lot of products in here that I didn't use at all which we will go ahead and touch upon. But this is my travel little guy. I bought this on Amazon. I will link it down below. It has different compartments based on how you want to organize your beauty products. And then I have all my brushes up here and some, yeah, just brushes. And then a little zipper on the side. You guys have seen this before. I will link all of my travel makeup videos down below. So I'm very excited to get into this mainly because Mike and I got back three days ago and I am just dying to unpack all of my things. I'm also gonna be uploading a video that shows you guys all the skincare that I packed when we went to Greece. Um, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell. This way you get a little noty when that video goes up. But um, I left that stuff in the bathroom. So to prep my face today, I've only put on the Maraud Sensitive Skin Serum. And now we're gonna go ahead and hop into all the things that I brought with me on our honeymoon that are in this this makeup bag. You got, you know, you guys understand what the video is about, right? I don't need to keep repeating myself. So Tatcha water cream. I have the big one and I got this as a sample at Sephora and I just reload this guy with the big guy whenever it is I travel. I really love this. It's called the water cream and it's really light on the skin. It like honestly feels like water on the skin. Like it feels cool um, and it's beautiful under makeup. You know, it's hydrating, but it's not too thick and it grips the makeup really nicely. I do not use a primer. When I say primer, I mean things that are labeled primer. I love a good moisturizer. I love a good SPF. I'm not leaving the home today, so I'm not gonna put SPF on, but normally I would use the Murad Perfecting Day Cream or there's a Neutrogena oil-free one. I use this every night when Mike and I were in Greece because like I said, during the day, I do like to use an SPF and I didn't bring any eye cream while we were on vacation. So I just, did I? Oh my God, I did, but I never used it. I just used this as eye cream. I did pack the Cryo Recovery Eye Serum by Charlotte Tilbury, which is so, so good. I really love it. But quite frankly, I packed so much shit in this bag that I didn't realize that this was in it. So use this a lot. Didn't use this at all, but this is still really good. Oh, my Wet n Wild lip treatment, guys. This is so bomb. It smells like grapefruit and it gives me like the fresh, fresh uh, lip bomb. That's like caramel and they have all different flavors or scents, I should say. That's like $20, but this is like $4 and change. I love it, love it, love it. It smells like summer and I wish it was summer all year round. I use this all the time now. I don't know why. I just feel like using clear eyes or this is Visine. It doesn't matter whichever one. I bought this one because it was on sale. It really makes your eyeshadow pop, makes your eyes whiter, you know? So I always put an itty bitty bit of this like on our two, oh, except I can't do it on camera because I totally missed my eyeball. But I always use this stuff. Um, I don't know why, I've been doing this for like six months now and I just like cannot do my makeup without putting some eye drops in, I don't know. And to be totally honest, I used to buy this because I would smoke weed all the time, but I don't smoke weed anymore. So it's kind of like nostalgic. It makes me think back and feel like, you know, I'm such a grown up now, a sober Sally. So packed my little mustache buzzer. <gasps> Did it die? Oh my God, the technical difficulties that we have had today. This just died on me. Okay, so we're just gonna rock the Italian mustache today. And I need to pray to Jesus that Mike has batteries. I would buzz off my stashy, but we can't because 
It's dead. Dior Backstage I'm in the shade 2CR. I use this every day while we were on vacation because this was the only concealer that I brought. However, I just find that like I'm really struggling to find a good tone. Like I just find like this is a little too um, orangey for me but the lighter tones just made me look like Casper the Friendly Ghost. We were doing a light makeup here. Probably should have said that. Light, natural, quick. You know, vacation makeup is quick. We wanna be in and out. We wanna explore and we wanna sightsee. But I got the Farrah four piece brush set. It was sent to me. I absolutely love it. Before that, I have used Farrah brushes before. A couple years ago, I think I was sent a few eye brushes. Trash, I absolutely hated them, but these are the cutest things. Do you see how cute this is? It has little daisies all over it. This daisy brush set is worth the $50 that it is. You get four. I brought all of them with me, but I really only used two. This one being my concealer brush and I just like pat this in. I really like this. I honestly might like this more than my Sephora 57 brush. Pat this into the skin and I like this concealer. It's pretty, it's good. Like, you know, it covers, but it's thin. So it doesn't really accentuate my fine lines, which I like because I find that if a concealer is too thick or if you use too much concealer for someone who laughs and smiles and has like fine lines around my eyes, just like less is more, you know? So yeah, um, I like it. I like it. I just don't like the shade. It's thin. I do set it, but a lot of the times I don't set it. Like I do and I don't, it really depends on my mood. It does a really good job, you know? I just, I feel like I could do better with the color. The next Farrah brush that I absolutely love is the Farrah 820F. Again, comes in this set. I have to say, if there is one product, one of two, I would say, that I absolutely fell in love with while in Greece, it is the Beautiful Skin Foundation by Charlotte Tilbury. I am in the shade four. I bought this because I went to an event a few months ago at this point. The makeup artist that I was working with used it on me. So sweet, Talitha, love her. Left my skin looking picture perfect, but so natural and I use this every day and it just got better and better and better. I don't know about you, but do you know like sometimes when you use the foundation, the same foundation every day, and it's like you love it and then a few days later it's like, mm, this doesn't make me break out. It always looks beautiful, natural. I'm a really big fan. I was putting it on the back of my hand, but this is how I did it in Greece because I just got to the point where I was wearing a white dress and I got it all over my dress because I tend to forget to wipe my hands off after I put makeup on the back of them. This is how I did it in Greece. So this is how I will do it now. Basically just stamp, stamp, stamp this all into the skin. Uh, just like look at my skin. It's shiny, it's dewy. It's kind of just like blurred to perfection. Guys, this stuff is no joke. Definitely worth the hype and I like hate Charlotte Tilbury because she's so, so good. Charlotte Tilbury is just like one of those brands that you wanna hate it because it's like everyone talks about it and you're just like, it cannot be that good. Like these people must be being paid. I am not being paid and I love every single Charlotte Tilbury product that I have ever tried. The only problem one that I had was the Hollywood contour wand because it's just like a little difficult, but it's still really good. Like the shades are still really, really good. And yeah, love this. So, so good. This was the mirror that I used the entire time. We will get to this because I used the hell out of this, but this is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Highlighter Multi Glow Romance Light. This was my, I just like, look how bougie that is. This is like very true Grease style because I did my makeup outside every single day. The weather there was beautiful and I literally used this as a mirror. So I'm sitting here freaking out that my makeup won't come out okay because I don't have my whole setup. But the reality is, is that this is how I do my makeup most of the time. Okay, Yensa Sunlit Bronzer. Y'all know I don't go anywhere without this product. This is a cream bronzer, super, super pretty. Also brought the Yensa Silk Bronzer. Br bleh, the <laughs> Yensa Silk Bronzer brush. It's so good. Not only with this, it's just like the best bronzer brush. So I just pick it up and I stamp it into my skin in the usual places and I'm going to put it in the crease. If you've been watching my shorts on YouTube or my reels on Instagram, you will have seen me do this makeup because I literally did a get ready with me for every city that we went to in Greece. So you will have seen this makeup routine, except this time I'm talking through the products. If you're a product junkie, a product lover, um, hopefully you will enjoy this video and get some value out of it and just get a sense of like what you should pack and what you shouldn't pack 
on your vacation because let me tell you something. I packed a lot of things that I didn't use and you can use a lot of this. It's really user friendly. It blends into the skin and it's a really, really natural bronzer. Like I don't, I don't even know if you could see. It's just a little kiss of bronze and I like to put it in the crease because this is just a trick that I do when I'm doing like a low maintenance makeup look. I use bronzer and blush in the crease just to give like definition to the lids without like committing to a full on like eyeshadow look. This summer I had a very hot and heavy love affair with the Merit Beverly Hills cream blush, which I still love, still my favorite blush. However, I recently pulled this out of my vanity and was like, damn, I forgot how much I love this. Tower 28 Happy Hour Cream Blush. This is a crown brush that I cannot find anywhere. So we're just gonna pretend like it's not really here. Although it's the only brush I use for cream blush. So please don't get mad at me. A very little goes a very long way with this bra with this blush. Oh my God, I can't talk, but like, look, it just gives you like the sexiest, like I just did it and like threw my clothes on kind of like flush. It's so freaking beautiful. And again, I'm gonna throw a little bit into my crease, but I keep this a little higher just to like lift my face but I used this every single day. I brought a powder blush too for like nights that I wanted to like pack on the makeup, but in hindsight, like I am just a cream blush kind of gal. I put a little bit on my nose again into the crease, but this is just so, so good. I wore this blush not that long ago. I went to Sephora when I was on a hunt to like buy new makeup for my wedding. I went in and the girl put the Dior concealer on. The other girl that worked at Sephora was like, what blush did you just put on her? no way did we sell that blush. And I was like, oh, she didn't put the blush on me. I wore this in and it was this. And she was like, girl, what is that? Because I need to know. And for sure I told her, I was like tower 28 powder blush that I use. This is from Patrick Ta and she's seductive. I think I used this like twice while we were in Santorini. The color is absolutely beautiful. Again, I really love this product. I think Patrick Tom makes beautiful blushes. I definitely wanna try more shades. And I did wear this on the day of my wedding. However, I didn't really wear this a lot in Greece, so I'm not gonna apply it to my face today. And I could have went to Greece without packing this at all. Also the NARS Laguna bronzer. I think I used this twice too. I think like two days I used cream products and then I used powder on top because I woke up early, did my makeup in the morning and wanted it to last me through the night. So if you're someone that needs long lasting makeup, that's the best way to do it. Layer your products, cream and then powder. But I only use this twice. Another thing I didn't use at all. And I brought this with the sole purpose to try this because I bought this months and months and months ago, if not maybe a year ago, but this is the Dior Backstage Contour Palette. I didn't use this at all because I'm gonna be honest, I should have been real with myself before I went that I don't have time to contour. I'm on vacation, I wanna be in, I wanna be out. This is natural makeup, we're just trying to explore. I brought this and I also brought this Farah brush that still comes in that four piece set. It's just like a fluffier brush. I feel like this is the perfect shape for contour. And so I didn't need to pack either one of these things. Laura Mercier, look how freaking cute this little powder puff is and this little travel guy is. It's like so tiny, which is perfect. I'm just gonna powder underneath my eyes and around my mouth, just where I don't really like to be shiny. I'm gonna pat it out using that first brush that I used with the Dior concealer on the powder puff. Just like light, I'm not baking, I'm not doing anything crazy. I just want to take away the shine and I'm gonna take it away on this bump on my nose. I don't want it to be shiny because shiny things come forward. I want my chin to come forward because I have no freaking chin. Can you see that this is just a little bit less shiny in these areas, which I personally like, but if you wanna be shiny everywhere, girlfriend, go for it, you know? The world is yours. MAC Fix Plus, look at how cute this is. I don't know where I got this. Did I buy this? Did I get this as like a birthday gift? I don't know, but I like that it kind of locks. So you can unlock it and then I just spritz just a little bit because we really didn't use much powder, but I did use this every day just because I love a setting spray. I used these two maybe like four times. I could have totally lived without this because in hindsight, I brought a lot of highlighter. This is a highlighter that we're gonna use in a bit, but I insisted on bringing the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette because I spent so much money on this and I just feel like it's never ending and I'm worried that it's gonna go bad, but I don't care. Even if it's bad, I'm still gonna use it because it's like 80 bucks for this damn thing. And the, uh, 
uh, brush that was made for the palette. But this I just used to, and I love that it has a little travel case. It's so bouge, which I love, you know, on bouge. I don't want to put it on today because I'm wearing a white sweater, but I would just go here and then put it on my decollete. Is that how you say that? And in between my tatas, just to give me like a little life. But I think I use this like only a few times and I really didn't need it. So I will say I did not need to pack this. Patrick Ta, when I used it the two times, um, this is the blush brush that I used with it. This is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06. Should have said that before, but totally forgot. Two other things that I didn't use at all. I did not use the Lancome Definite Stephanie Sills? Stephanie Shills. I have no idea how the hell you say this, but this is the waterproof mascara. I bought this for my wedding day. I freaking love it. It lengthens your lashes, separates them. It makes them wispy. I love a wispy, easy lash. I love a wand that is small and will separate my lashes. And this is exactly what it did. However, waterproof, which I needed because I was a babbling, bawling mess the day of my wedding, but that's okay. So she was great. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, did I think I was gonna go in the water and grease and like get my lashes wet because I don't get my hair wet. I'm not a big water person. I like the land, to be honest. I like to sit next to the water. I don't like to be in the water. I'm like a cat. So I didn't use this and I'm not gonna use it today. However, I will use this in an upcoming video. It's really, really good. I used this once. This was the Charlotte Tilbury Marbella Brown. This is my favorite brown coal eyeliner. This and Mac Teddy, I would say, but um, I used this once and I used it in my waterline and then it was stuck in my waterline for days because I didn't pack an eye makeup remover. So I wore it once, didn't use it again and didn't really need it. So I would say I did not need to pack this. I really didn't use any eyeliner. I didn't use this sponge at all. I did not use a beauty sponge. I brought it. This is the Araceli sponge, which I love so, so good. I think it's totally comparable to the beauty blender. Might even be better in my personal opinion. Honestly, to be honest, I brought this in case the fair brushes were a complete fail. And since I love them, I did not use this. My Milani, uh, pencil sharpener. It has a smaller, like average size pencil sharpener and a jumbo one. I used this to sharpen all of my lip liners. Definitely necessary. I used the hell out of her and I forgot how much I loved her. And let me tell you that I only brought one eyeshadow palette and it was very difficult for me to decide which eyeshadow palette I wanted to bring, but I decided to bring the Lorac Pro 3, which is just like this beautiful nude palette, mattes up top with beautiful shimmers on the bottom. Terracotta, clay, dark brown, light gold, pink nude, and blanc. Pretty much the only shades that I used. If you want to see more eyeshadow looks that I did in Greece, check out my shorts down below or check out my Instagram. You will see every single get ready with me look that I did using all of these products, but just in different variations. So you will see how to use these products in different ways in case you're interested in buying any of them. I go nowhere without my Scott Barnes brush. This is the 62. And I would say I probably went into terracotta and clay most. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do today. And I'm just gonna do a really, really light wash. Um, these eyeshadows are so freaking beautiful. They blend out like a dream. They're super buttery and like Lorac is the best. It's not like a popular brand, at least in my opinion. It's not one that you see like all the time that people are talking about. I feel like they don't really come out with new launches, which I kind of love because why not just keep it to the good goods, you know, instead of coming up with, guys, my battery died. Um, are we surprised? No. But yeah, I'm just dipping into terracotta because I kind of want this to be a little bit more orangey and just focusing that on the outer portion of my crease just to like lift the eye and give it some definition. And then I'm going to put some underneath right in the outer third. I love this brush. I love this eyeshadow palette. I could not have done a better job of packing these two. I love the Jaclyn Hill brushes and I know it's like kind of controversial because I feel like a lot of people had a lot of problems with them with shedding, but I have never had a problem with any of her brushes. I used to really love Jaclyn Hill. I have to say I'm not like the biggest fan anymore. It has nothing to do with her lipsticks. I just feel like she's constantly like sell, sell, sell. To be honest, like I feel bad about her husband, well, her ex-husband passing away, but like the whole thing was cringe, in my opinion. Like, I just thought it was really cringy the way she went about it. I gotta be honest, like, I wish her all the best. I never wish ill on anyone, but she's just, like, not my cup of tea anymore. She's kind of turned me off, like, so many times that I'm just not really interested in it. Whatever. Doesn't matter, my opinion. But I love her products, so maybe, you know, maybe she should just be sell-sell-selling because her shit's pretty good. I haven't tried anything from her 
makeup line but I will say like the collaborations that she's done with Morphe her Morphe Jack and Hill palette I bought every one that she came out with I think there's one and two I love them both so I just she comes out with good shit I'm just not a a fan personally. I bought these a really long time ago and I use them all the time. So going into Cool Taupe, I'm gonna take it on this Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH40. I'm gonna tilt my head back and I'm gonna prop it right here, just like in the upper outer of the lid. And I'm gonna put it underneath as well and kind of just like frame the eye. Can you see how that just gave a bit more definition? I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, again, using the shade Cool Taupe. And I'm gonna put some in the outer third as well. And then again, underneath, just to like kind of connect it, just like that. This is my typical go-to blending brush. I like that it's tapered. This is the Morphe M575. And I'm just gonna lightly go over the edges. Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH42, which is just like this very flat little brush. I love it. And I'm gonna go into dark brown and I'm just gonna add this to the outer portion of my eye, just like this. Just kind of doing like your typical like smoky, putting it on the bottom and connecting it in the outer corner and just like fanning it inward so that it kind of gives an ombre effect. So the darkest section or the pigmented section, I should say, is always where you go in first with a product. So the darkest and most pigmented is the outer third. And then I'm taking what's ever left on my brush and bringing it in towards the center of my eye just to give it a more blended look. And then underneath, just like framing. I don't know, I like this brush. I feel like it does a really good job of helping me put things down precisely, but like look at how much definition that gives. Back in with my Morphe M575, just to like help blend it all together. And I always, always, always just picked a shimmer shade. I think I'm gonna go with light gold today just cause I feel like it's matching the vibe of my very springy sweater that I rented before we went to Greece and never got a chance to wear. And if you know anything about me, if I spend my money on something, I'm getting my money's worth, whether I like it or not. So she is being worn today. I'm gonna take light gold on my finger and I'm gonna start in the center of my lid and then fan it inwards towards the inner corner of my eye. What's ever left over and putting it on my brow bone. I also brought these two other things that I did not use at all. This is the Farah 836E. This is a blending brush. I have to let you know because I didn't use this at all because I brought way too many brushes. I did not use my Gucci brow pencil. I also brought this, hence why I said I brought way too many eyeshadow brushes or just brushes in general. But this one I used with the NARS bronzer that I didn't use, so I really didn't need to bring this. I used this teetered between this one and the Scott Barnes 62 brush, but I love Scott Barnes, so I really didn't need to bring this. I just thought this was cute to like pack because it's travel and I was traveling. I really didn't use this at all, but it's super cute. I like how small of a brush it is. This big, fat, almost like stalky, pencil brush. Whether I put eyeshadow on or I didn't put eyeshadow on, I did this every single day. I just wanted a pop of highlight. So I went into this Pillow Talk palette. I grabbed a little bit of that. Pop this in the corner of my eye. Can you see how that light in the inner corner just makes my eye look more awake? And then I took a little bit more and I put it right under the brow bone. And some days where I felt like my brows were a little too bushy, I put it right under there as well. Grabbed more put it on my cupid's bow, a little bit between the brows. And then sometimes I would grab it on my finger and just go like that. So I just used this to strategically highlight certain places on my face. I love this brush. The second that I said I didn't use my Gucci brow pencil, y'all knew I was using this. This is the Merit Brown Volumizing Pomade. It has some kind of property in it that it helps to nourish your eyebrow hairs to help them last longer, just like that. And can you see it just darkens them a little bit. It helps to keep them in place all day and just kind of like brings them back to life. Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler, this is the only eyelash curler I use. I believe I bought the almond shaped eye ones because I do have almond shaped eyes. I know, beautiful, beautiful shape. I wasn't blessed with beautiful hazel eyes like my beautiful husband, but I will say the shape of my eyes is very nice. And that's an inside joke between Mike and I. Um, it's not me being conceited, but so what? We should all be conceited sometimes. And Comb Lashy Doll, best mascara ever. I use this every single day. I didn't use either one of these. I brought this Sugar Icon red lipstick, which I love. I brought this because Mike loves a red lip. I just didn't have a red lip in me. So I didn't wear a red lip. I also just bought this for my wedding, which I didn't end up using and I kind of regret it, but I wanted to try Laura Mercier lipsticks because I've never tried them and I'm a big Laura Mercier fan. Brune Pale, I have no idea how you say that. Look at her. Yeah, she makes me hot. 
I love a new lipstick. Super, super pretty. Such a good color, but I'm not gonna use her today because I don't know why. I like the fact that she's a virgin and I wanna keep her virgin as long as possible. Santorini was the first place that we went to. I don't remember which lip liner I used, but these are the only two lip liners that I brought. I love Charlotte Tilbury shades. I don't love the formula. It's too creamy for me. It's like one of those lip liners where if you go over it too much, it starts to build up and it looks raised on your lips and kind of cakey. However, her iconic nude lip liner is so freaking good. The most perfect shade. MAC stripped down because this is like probably my most used lip liner. So I had to bring it. So very similar tones. MAC Strip Down is like a little bit more on the peachier, lighter brown side. I think it's Santorini I used the MAC one. So let's, I wanna, I wanna wear this lip today just cause it's so pretty. But so I'm gonna use Strip Down. I'll put the other one on my lips too. So that's MAC Strip Down. This one kind of looks more like a shadow. So I like to pair the both of them together sometimes. I didn't pair them together in Greece, so I'll be honest, but I put a little bit underneath, up top, near, kind of like heart of my lips just to give it a little bit more dimension and to make them look a little bit poutier. So these were the lip liners that I used. Santorini, I wore this lipstick the most. This is MAC in the shade Daddy's Girl. I bought this the longest time ago and I found her in my little like Ikea drawer there. I was like, I need to bring her, but this is just like the prettiest freaking pink. I don't wanna wear her today, but I will swatch her for you, but it's just like the prettiest. How many times can I say prettiest? Like light baby pink. And again, it's called Daddy's Girl. And then I often paired the Charlotte Tilbury Refresh Rose. This is her lip collagen. I bought a trial size set. This is my favorite shade from all the lip collagens. I've tried many of them. This is my most worn, and this is the one that I wore on top. Daddy's Girl, but it's kind of just like this beautiful peachy tone. And this is a plumping gloss, so it does tingle and make your lips look a little bit bigger, which I personally love. Mykonos and I will say I wore the iconic nude Charlotte Tilbury lip liner and this lip gloss because everyone in Mykonos had lip fillers, had their whole face done. They all looked great, no shade in the game, but I wanted to match the vibe and that was the vibe. So to give myself that like fake, but like natural looking huge fake lip, does that make any sense? Illusion. I used my Iconic Nude by Charlotte Tilbury and then this freaking lip gloss that I can't get enough of, Tarte Dragon Fruit. It is a jutsy gel-like gloss that just fills in the lines of your lips. Cause I kind of want like a natural lip today, even though I don't have fake lips, but I looked like I did. So I blended in to the crowd, which was the goal. When we went to Paros, which is where we ended the trip, I used my Strip Down by MAC again, cause I only brought those two lip liners and I paired it with my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick that I put all over my lips, which you guys have seen this so many times. I don't even need to show you what it looks like. And then I put the Charlotte Tilbury KKW in the center for like that extra kind of pout. Two other things that I haven't mentioned and then we are done here is my Billion Dollar Brows tweezer. Love this tweezer, my favorite tweezer that I've ever used. I love this, but I didn't use this at all because I didn't bring my cream eyeshadow brush that I like to use, so therefore I didn't use this. But this is the Vanessa Merrick's Color Fix Matte in Exposed. It's just a cream kind of eyeshadow that you guys have seen so, so many times. This is a finished makeup look using all of the beauty products that I relied heavily on during my trip to Greece with Mike on our honeymoon, including all the products that I wasted precious packing space for. However, everything in this video is a slam dunk hit. I loved every single thing. Again, if you're interested in any of the products mentioned today, I will link them all down below for your purchasing pleasure. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell button before you leave. I had a wonderful time as always. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.